Hi first graders! Do you remember what we were working on the last time we had an art class? We were drawing a bowl of fruit that was full of fruit. And I was thinking about those fruits and I'm wondering what would happen if those fruits got bored? And I came up with the idea that my fruit, this apple, would go for a skateboard ride. And so for your first assignment, you're going to be thinking about what might your fruit be doing when they get bored sitting in their bowl. Greg Brown is an artist who draws vegetables that come to life. If we look at this picture, we've got three veggies dancing on a spaghetti box, while the green pepper and onion seem to be singing to each other. Here's another fun poster he made. This one is called Cookin'. Look at how those veggies are dancing and playing music. What a fun place to be. I have lots of fun student work. This pineapple is heading off to summer camp. Here is an orange that decided to go snowboarding. And look at this strawberry. It's going for a walk with its dog. It's time to start thinking about what is gonna happen to my fruit. So on a piece of paper, and it might be typing paper, it might be um, a sketchbook you have, it might be um, a cereal box. You can actually cut a cereal box and use the cardboard. You can draw on any of those things. I'm going to block out, and I've got a pencil here, a apple. I want this line to be just a little more curved. So if you have a black eraser at your house, those work great. Sometimes even pink erasers will make a little bit of a mark. Um, it will make a little mark, but I don't think you'll see it in the video. I'm blocking out a apple. And then my apple is going to be skateboarding. So one way to think about adding arms and legs is to first of all do it as a stick. So if I'm skateboarding, my legs are going to be bent and his arms might be out trying to help balance. And after I'm happy with those stick arms and legs, I'm going to be turning them into actual legs. So I won't need this. If you know you're not going to be keeping something, like my little stick leg that I started with, draw as light as you can. I've heard art teachers talk about that as a whisper line, that very light line that can, you can erase easy. And I like that, whisper lines. Then we've got to put a foot, and another foot, and I'm going to draw this. Now this is an apple. Does it need to have five fingers? No. I could decide that it's only going to have three. It might have mittens. I don't know. So if you don't put all five fingers on your fruit that came alive, that's fine. But I'm going to draw to... Mine's going to have three fingers and a thumb. Um, I need to put the core up here. If I'm happy with the lines of my apple, I can darken those. It'll be easier to see for the video. There we go. And then I need to put a face, and I think he's going to be having lots of fun. So I'm going to do some kind of fun cartoon eyes, and he's going to be looking um, to the side because he's skateboarding, and he's going to have a great big smile. So now I need to draw his skateboard in. Skateboards are usually a little bigger than the person. And I will probably just see the front of one of the two wheels here. Maybe there's a sidewalk. Maybe there's um, some trees or shrubs in the back. And then I could even think about putting a sun and maybe there's some clouds covering that sun. There we go. That looks like a fun picture to color. I'd like to talk about coloring just a little bit since we're ready to color our fruit comes alive. One of the things I like to do when I'm coloring with crayons or markers is to outline my shape first. So here with my skateboarding apple, I'm going to make sure that I go around all of the edges so that when I go to color, I will have a really nice edge to bump up against. Then I won't make as many um, It'll be easier to know where to stop. I also like to use short little strokes like this, because if I move my arm all over, it's easy to miss a spot. So when you're coloring, take your time and do your very best work. If I outline by the eye, 
that's going to be easier to color up by that area too. Well, I'm done coloring my apple on the skateboard, and I really like how it turned out. Notice how this looks. And now look at what it looks like when I've outlined it with the black crayon. It really stands out with that extra black line. When you're all done coloring, I would encourage you to get your black crayon and go over all of your details so that we can see everything in your drawing. When you are done, please take a picture in Seesaw and upload it to our class page. I can't wait to see what you came up with.